You don't mean Leo from uh, South Florida, do you? Oh, Leo is the kitty. I'm dumb. I'd love to meet him. I love cats. I love animals. Mr. Riddle says, Hey, Soul, any advice on going to my first tournament as a Little Mac player? Mmm, yeah, cry. Get ready to cry. It's okay. Loss will happen. You're going to learn a lot about your character. You're going to learn a lot about the difficulties of the matchup. That's all right. I want you to go in. I want you to be patient. I want you to be studious. Life is Mac as hell. Let's not make any ifs, ands, or buts about it. But at the end of the day, like, this is the start of your journey, and it's going to be a very tough one. So good luck. Do your best. If it's your first tournament, you may have think you have learned about Little Mac. You haven't. You will. Hmm. Yeah, it is fucking hard. It's very fucking hard. That's okay. You just fight anyhow. Just because a fight isn't in your favor doesn't mean you back down and run. guys tuning in, I just want to say thank you very much for showing up for the stream. It means a lot to me, guys. This is probably not going to be the most exciting part available, but uh, I definitely do need to train. Yeah, Mr. Riddle, what I'm telling you is to drop that, that kind of uh, belief structure. If you win, that's great. Do your best. Don't ever go in there assuming that you're going to fucking kill everyone. Especially as a little Mac. That's foolhardy. That's stupid. What you need to do, most importantly, is utilize every one of his tools. Is have the mindset that you are a student seeking to learn. Don't go in there with the idea that you're going to decimate your local. Go in there with the idea that you are a challenger fighting in an uphill battle. Absolutely, it's okay to say, I think I can win. It's not okay to say, I'm easily going to destroy everyone. So that's my advice to you. Keep level. Be real. If you win, that's amazing. Great. Fight for that. But don't don't put yourself in an embarrassing position when you don't know. It's your first time, and that's okay. Let it be your first time. There's nothing wrong with that. The message to MacMains about utilizing tools, yeah, that's really important. Like even now I'm still finding new things to add. Um, I think one of my favorite tools is, uh, what's one that I've been doing? Turnaround Jab 1 is completely underutilized in the Mac meta. Most people up tilt, which is frame 10. Turnaround Jab 1 is frame 2 and confirms into a kill. Alright, Gus. Be safe and rest well, man. See you when I see you, buddy. That's a lot of fucking shepherds. Don't suppose Dazzling Gleam hits all of them. It does. No, you didn't exit too early, man. Get your rest. 
I appreciate you showing up. Um, I have been... I have been previously uh, praised for my general vocabulary. I like to be articulate. I think being able to have a concise and complete thought and being able to describe it with the most appropriate connotations is really important. So I do have an appreciation for language. Um, so I speak as fluently as I can. Thank you. It means a lot to me for you to recognize it, and I appreciate that very much. Have you been thinking of getting a secondary? Yeah, I'm looking a little into Mewtwo. He's pretty fun. Hey, Pumpkin. How's it going, buddy? Your secondary is Samus, right, Mr. Riddle? I actually do teach in Smash 4, for what it's worth. Um, I do lessons. I stay uh, $30 for an hour, but on top of that, I also do package deals, basically. How am I slower than the... Okay, never mind. Cancel. But yeah, guys, if you're interested in Smash lessons, I definitely know how to work with people and prove their fundamental neutral. I've had many different students who have assisted over the years. Year? Year and a half? I don't know. I'm still pretty new myself, but that in a way is good too, because it keeps me closer to the roots that I'm teaching. I remember what it's like to be a new player. I know what it's like to be frustrated. I know what it's like to feel like you're not growing fast enough, or that you're not getting the results you want. So I keep that in mind, and mentality is one of the biggest central focuses and aspects of my training regimen with players. So if you're interested in lessons or anything along those lines, hit me up, let me know. I have no problem with that. Just DM me over Twitter. Fucking Lanoon. not an exciting training lesson. Ah! At least this. This training. This game. Here. Ryu is a great choice. Uh, I definitely still think that Roy is undervalued, but ultimately you will get better results with Ryu, and I'm not gonna sit... I'm not gonna sit here and tell you otherwise, because I know that that's damn well the case. Yeah, thirty dollars is a lot for people. I also one of the things I do is I cut down price for like bulk hours. So for instance, I, I have a student that trains with me what is that, five, 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 twenty hours a month. So I only charge him twenty dollars instead of thirty. That kind of thing. A lot of what I have to teach carries over for sure. But I especially work well with Mac Mains. That I understand, because I'm a man that doesn't have a lot of money, but I do have a lot of time, and that's why I stream. It's a living. <laughs> but I don't want anyone to ever feel obligated either in regards to like donations or anything along those lines. It's completely optional. Just showing up and watching the stream supports me plenty, and I thank you for it. The Nuzlocke's going well. Let's see. I had to describe it in a nutshell. Oh no, that's okay, Wooden Monster. Where are you from, by the way? I might have to move there.
Oh, that's a choice that it made. Columbia? Oh man, you know, uh, actually, that's the thing, I wanted to go to Columbia for a while. I even looked up plane ticket prices and everything. Because there were people that I heard that were talking really poorly about Mac over in that area, and so I was pretty hellbent. I wanted to go over there and show them the validity of my character. It was like a couple hundred bucks, two, three hundred or so to get out there. So I put up on my stream, I was like, I put up on Twitter like, Hey guys, if anyone wants to donate a couple hundred bucks, I will fly out to Columbia just to fight children on the internet. I meant it. Go ahead and roost, I dare you. <laughs> One more and Alola's 37. I'm a weird guy, and uh, I like adventurous shit. I like spontaneous shit. The only thing that holds me back is finance. Like, um, the first time I went to live in Tokyo for six months, I think it was. I went to Tokyo for six months to live there on a whim. It was absolutely a whim. Uh, and the second I had the whim, I immediately filed for a passport. When the passport came in, within a week, I was out to Tokyo. The only thing that ever gets in my way is money. You're a Mac man in Colombia? Are you the gentleman that contacted me previously, by chance? Have we talked before? Or are you a different Mac man from Colombia? Bloop! Look at them all faint in a row like that. It's beautiful. I believe there is a lot of prejudice. That's why I want to go out there and show, show people, hey, no, this character's real. I'll let Columbia know uh, that I would like to do that. I would love to fly out to Columbia specifically to fight Columbia. So yeah, that'd be fun. I had to beat Rid. That's fucking adorable. Yo, Duda, internet high five. Well, to be clear, uh, Prince Raman is anything but a random Palatina main. He's the best Palatina in the world. Period. Prince Raman is the Palatina what I am to Mac. I've played Ramen five different times between money matches and bracket. I'm currently up 3-2, but it's damn close, and that's a matchup that favors Mac. He's an intensely skilled and talented player. So, just remember that. He's no random. Just because somebody doesn't know, doesn't mean that he's random. Hi-Hats and Rydia uh, are... Rydia is the number one Pikachu of our state. Hi-Hats is our best Ganondorf in that there are no Ganondorfs. Uh, but he is generally considered more mid-level, so for him to win that, that's a very big win for him. That's awesome. Oh yeah? I would have loved to have come to that, man. That's a shame, Wooden Monster. Yeah, that works to a relative extent. I don't like relying on Jab 1-2, though, because of the fall speed, because they can pop in the shield and they get you in a lot of trouble. I 
I mean, Palo Saipi is okay versus Mac on the edge like that. Uh, it's definitely a tool in the matchup, but I wouldn't go as far as to call it, like, scary. Um, I would hands down say that that's like 60-40 Mac, that whole matchup. You guys have had Will-O-Wisp this whole time? Sons of bitches. You put your hand up, Duda? I'm proud of you, baby. <laughs> so, not very unstoppable, then, is what I'm getting out of this bell ring. That's a lot of shepherds. Ouch, sort of. Ouch, sort of. Hey, Soul, I'm a Mac main that has a hardcore habit of run-up shielding. What other approach options should I use? Well, if I want to guess, one of the biggest problems with Macs is that they don't fucking jump. If you want to create new approach options, try short hopping. Short hop air dodge, short hop bait. When they come in with a run-in grab or they try to counter with a shield, you can tomahawk down into your own grab. Furthermore, if they run in with anything and they miss, or they throw out something expecting a run-up shield, they run up, they miss that grab, you can fall in, down tilt, perfect pivot up tilt, jumping up air, fall in, up tilt, up B, anything you want. That right there would be a nice string combo for you. So just keep that in mind. Jumping can give you a lot. You don't have to have an aerial just to apply it. It's still movement, and if you keep your movement completely horizontal, you're going to do yourself a disservice. Because remember, you need to work upon an entire, like, 3D plane. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you need to work on a... Yeah, well, there's the axis. 3D plane. You need to work vertically and horizontally. You need to work on every element of your movement. And that includes jumping. So don't ever forget that. Max Grab is based off of a clinch, but has no reach and is completely unviable, unlike an actual clinch. Unfortunately. <coughs> Mac needs to jump. Matchups where it's really invaluable. What happened, Bell Ring? Who died? killed itself with curse that sucks I'm sorry buddy anyhow yeah max need to learn how to move vertically as well as horizontally also they need to walk more than run it's kind of like a death death of an idea death of a dream 